Welcome to Eternia Fact Files. In this series, we'll take a look at some of the questions regarding He-Man and She-Ra and try to answer them from the nitty-gritty to more general topics. Now, since He-Man and She-Ra have a long history in comics, cartoons, and more, the answers may come from in-universe or from behind the scenes. My name is Daniel Benedict, and this video's topic is... In the pilot episode, The Diamond Ray of Disappearance, for the He-Man and the Masters of the Universe cartoon, we see Skeletor attacking Castle Grayskull with his henchmen. Skeletor has an axe in this episode with a crystal ball on top, and it's worth mentioning that this is the only time we see this weapon throughout the series. The majority of the time Skeletor has his Havoc Staff, which also came with the action figure. Even though this was the only episode we actually saw Skeletor on screen with the axe, it did manage to sneak in and make a couple other appearances. On the cover of the Masters of the Universe mini-comic, Hordak, the Ruthless Leader's Revenge, we see He-Man and Orko fighting against Mantena, Grizzlor, Spikor, Hordak, and Skeletor. And what does Skeletor have in his hands? That same axe. And of course, inside the comic, plus the mini-comic, The Treachery of Modulok. There's also a pinup image in a 1986 storybook. Plus, the 87 UK annual has a fun little story called The Flying Sword. And for toy collectors such as myself, who purchased Super 7's Ultimate Skeletor figure, you have that axe. Without the need to steal it from a certain bunny. Thank you for watching Eternia Effect Files, a source of history and regions for Masters of the Universe and Princess of Power. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on future updates, leave a comment what you thought about this video or what topics you'd like to see featured, and share this video as it would help my channel grow. My name is Yuka and I wish you good journey.